How are you, Angelina? I'm good. I'm very good. Thanks. Excellent. So tell me about um, going into the mind frame of this character. The way we shot this film was, as you said, in, inside one house, really. We didn't have trailers. We had nowhere else to go. We had no touch-ups and hair and makeup. There were no lights. It was all very raw. And I think it was the only way we could have shot this movie. So it wasn't... Um, it wasn't conscious of itself. Tell me about the preparation for this movie because I'm sure it was a, vol a lot of responsibility for you to portray a character that is living among us. Yeah, I was very, very nervous to take this on. I, we did early on. Um, Brad and I went out to spend time with Ruth and Uta Pearl, who are amazing people, and, and talk about their life and Danny's life and, and kind of get their blessing as well. Um, and, uh, and then I spent time with Marianne, who is just an amazing person, and we've had great play dates because our boys are close in age, and she's a great mom. I spent months uh, listening to every interview she did and watching her and studying her and reading her work and Danny's work and studying her accent and trying to just be as meticulous about that as possible and then, and then try to just jump in and, and, uh, and pray that it would work. As you were mentioning before, Brad was with you on that uh, shoot. He was your producer. Was it different, um, you know, him having him as kind of like your boss? Um, what's great is having a producer that's taking care of your kids. Ah, <laughs> instant daycare. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what's really great. He was an amazing, you call him to, to say something was happening on set and you'd just hear your four children in the background, or it was three at the time. But uh, yeah, he, he's, he's just, he was a, he's a great supporter of, of artists. He's a really great producer because he really, uh, he helped put all the right pieces together and then he didn't insert himself too much. I think he, he made everybody feel comfortable and confident to get on with their job. But he was there whenever he was needed. But spent most of the time with the kids. How do you choose your roles? Because this obviously was a role based on, on a true event, but some of your other movies were not. Well, there are certain films like this that, that it's, you know, it's, it's uh, separate from it being a film, it will be an experience that changes you as a person and teaches you about life and you'll grow as a human being. So there are certain projects you just want to be close to because you know it'll be um, so educational and, and means so much. And then there are ones you just do for fun because you feel like you want to get out of yourself and you're taking yourself too seriously and you want to get silly. You know, we all have that. I think we all, we all have all different sides to us. And I mean, I have the good fortune of sometimes focusing on the serious side of me and then, and then doing something where I can be a completely other silly physical side of me that's uh, not so serious. At what point of your career did all of this become kind of like too much. No, we don't read a lot of those magazines. We're really, we don't read any of them. We don't uh, watch those TV programs and we stay at home a lot with our kids and we're very happy. So um, I don't like that there's all that stuff out there, but um, but it, it does, I think it makes you rethink your work, certainly as an actor. You start to think how much of what I'm putting out there uh, is like good product that I've worked very hard on or how much is just uh, it, images that can be used for silly stories and speculation and when you start to feel that your real work is this much and and all this other silliness is this much you start to wonder whether or not you should continue your work. In a previous interview that we did you were mentioning how you wanted to have a United Nations at home. I think you have 150 more kids to adopt or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> how is the household with so many kids? Oh it's fantastic. It's exhausting and fantastic. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane. It's really funny. We, we woke 6 o'clock this morning. We have, we have an extended bed. Our bed is, Brad built an extra long bed so all the kids can come in. And we woke up in the morning and they'd all gotten in our bed. By, by 6.15 we had all four of them just rolling around, trying to wake us up, messing with each other. It was beautiful. It's right. beautiful chaos. I'm trying to sleep in because I had to come to work and thought like, ah, oh, it was great. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your honesty. Thank it's, you. Uh,